you were you, were you playing ball in high school? I started in eleventh grade. Yeah, you did. How is that? Like, were you already embedded in the 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 community and in the culture? Um, because it's wasn't there like a sort of like all right, these are the jocks and these are the punks. Like a, a line in the sand. Oh, it was. A, it was like it was an extremely tough time to uh, to be someone who enjoyed throwing hard. Because um, I, I really never was a jock. I mean, I I skated. I played in a punk rock band. I had, a, sh- you... I had a shaved head. My my clothes came from Salvation Army. I mean, how did I, you get that? Like, how did you? Did someone give you a baseball and you start? I mean, I, I played when I was a little kid, and. Um, I, I got let go on the team when I was in 10th grade. Uh, and then in 11th grade, I had this period where my dad was uh, going through lung cancer. Oh, shit. So um, I was like either on the verge, I'm, I'm moving to Hollywood, and I'm just like going for it. I'm going to go to DeVry or something, right? Um, I'm getting out of school, and the high school coach hits me up in the middle of school at lunch. And he says, hey, he goes, Rudansky, aren't you in my class? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, when are you going to show up? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, uh, I said, well, I said, you know what? I said, my dad just died three days ago. I'll show up today. And he goes, oh. And I think right then and there, he just said, I'm taking care of this kid. He goes, you go over with this guy. You're going to pitch. He's going to take care of you. you. You practice with him. And that's kind of how it happened. I mean, I, I got along with all the guys on the team. I didn't hang out with them. It wasn't part of their scene. Um, and I know it embarrassed people sometimes, you know, at school, like I'm hanging down with these guys with mohawks, you know, flicking taco sauces off the wall. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, 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 and here's, the whole, here's the whole baseball team. I know. thought I was like super creative with that taco <laughs> sauce uh, shit. <laughs> we all were. <laughs> you like um, twist it? No, yeah, <laughs> you're yeah. Flip it against the wall, yeah. But we were, that's what, what you we looking did. at, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> that's what we did, you know? It was innocent trouble, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> One time, my, uh, Mr. Lovestead, my, <laughs> my counselor, right? He was walking by, and he walked past me. He, was, he always said, Timmy. Like, that's how he used to talk. <laughs> Timmy, can you please quiet down? <laughs> so he, like, did the, his old Timmy quiet down shit, and he would embarrass me because he was calling me Timmy. I'm like I'm Tim. I'm yeah. an adult. Yeah. And then he walked past me. I did the taco shit. Yeah. And it splattered on his khakis. <laughs> Suspended. <laughs> no, he couldn't. Who did that? Uh. <laughs> and everyone was just like, Timmy, I know it's you. <laughs> Joel loves good it. memories. Yeah. And so you. So from 11th grade, you're just like. You just join M- the. Baseball? It just happened, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I had a lot of anger. I mean, I just lost my dad. Yeah. And uh, it was kind of all channeled out these three fingers, and you know the 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 one on one. It could have been tennis or whatever, but it just happened to be being baseball. a pitcher, mm-hmm. you know, in baseball, and you know that like it is a team game, but it's a one on one competition, you know, sixty feet. And um, I just, it, it sounds horrible, but it was probably like one of the best things. It was the best thing, turn of events in my life, you know, because granted, if my dad was healthy, I probably would have never had the, the thought of like, oh, I'm going to pack my shit and go to Hollywood and, you know, just become a gutter punk. And um, so once it happened and then my high school coach, right at that right moment, every, the, the moons were aligned. You know, and um, and I just kind of had this natural, I guess, I don't want to say gift, but like this ability to, you know, to win and compete and, and, and outwill. Hey, and you, know, you only lost like 25 times? I don't, I don't know. Like, no, I, I don't know in high school. Like I don't that. think it was very many at all. <laughs> no, um, no, in, in Major uh, League yeah, Baseball, and I'll be. Yeah, I don't know. Like um, I read that, I was like, whoa, what the fuck? That's yeah. pretty impressive. Yeah, that's Wikipedia though too. Yeah, know? I don't. I mean, I don't. I, don't, I got to be honest. I don't know those numbers. Um, but it was it was a tough time because it was almost embarrassing to be labeled as a sports guy when you're got a shaved head and you know these wearing a pair of Converse, and um, it was tough. It was like, granted, there wasn't the internet. Once the internet broke, there was no hiding anything any longer. You know, I'd say somewhere around ninety five, ninety six. 
kicked the that game. was it it was all about um i couldn't i couldn't hide it anymore i couldn't like escape it it was in my face and and that's just the way it was and i had to deal with it and i became more open about it and i wasn't embarrassed because what was i ashamed to be ashamed of you know i mean i you got a job and you got a job and this is my job i mean I, i'm not a jock you know i'm not some sports guy i just i pitch and, and i always continue to play in a punk band and for the most part, my head stayed shaved since I was 15. How did, yeah. how was it, like, you know, when you're in the locker room with certain alpha males, uh, how was that, I mean, in the early 90s, uh, how was that received? I always got along with everybody, you know. Um, I was like the guy that had a skateboard riding around the, you know, the upper deck of the, the hotel, you know, in front of the Holiday Inn and Spring Training. Or I had the Volkswagen bus I drove to the field, you know, in South Bend, Indiana. I always kind of did my own thing, and guys kind of respected that. And But I held my own on the field. I didn't disrespect anybody. I didn't, like, you know, dishonor anything. I just did my own thing. And um, I gained their their respect, you know, through that. And um, it allowed me to be myself. Um, I didn't go out, hang out with them. Away from the field, there was zero commonness or whatever yeah. the word would be right um but at the field which is where we were at most of the time i was a good teammate um you know i, I was pretty close with the guys in the bullpen obviously we sit out there for hours waiting for the phone to ring <laughs> and, you know guys would be talking about like you know you're sitting in this tree stand and they're going hunting and they're you know pouring deer pee all over themselves you know waiting for a buck to come by and shoot it and i'm talking about like well yeah we we slept on a squat you know I slept in a on a floor in a squat somewhere in east berlin and they it's just squat, they man. didn't get it you know they didn't understand it you know there there was no comprehension to what like going from the ritz carlton one month to like the floor the next you know or in the van and and um they just didn't you know there wasn't we never really discussed it but <laughs>